All right. So what we got here? This is the relatively new AMD Zakat platform. It's the Hudson M1. This is a AS Rock motherboard that I got off Newegg. It was about a hundred bucks. Plus the power supply, it was about twenty. Just a little 250 watt power supply, along with an old laptop SATA drive that I've got. It's got four gigs of DDR3 in it, and I'm using uh, pretty much uh, no outputs on it really. Uh, just a HDMI, a couple USB. One of those is for the wireless network adapter. And uh, right now I've got a keyboard hooked up, but that's soon to be replaced by a IR blaster for a wireless remote. Anyway, just to kind of give you a little demo of how the performance is on this, right now I've got loaded up uh, 720p YouTube video. This is Flash 10.2 running right now, and you can kind of see the performance of it. And the initial start was a little bit high on the consumption, but it's not doing too bad right now. It hovers usually right around 35 to 40 percent for playing back videos in Flash 10.2. And this is 720p, obviously in a window, but when you take it full screen, you'll notice. No drop frames, no stuttering, no skipping. Works out really, really well. So this is pretty impressive for a uh, basically sub $150 setup. Alright, so in the last little bit I showed you that it was playing back the 720p video, which it still is. So let's close this out and we'll pull up Media Center real quick. That's pretty much the purpose behind what I built this system for. See Windows Media Center starts up. And we'll just pull up the guide. And we'll pull up some high def TV. Sesame Street, why not? So you can see it switches right over. And I'm just using a uh, very inexpensive USB tuner to do this. It's actually Aver Media, I believe. Yeah, Aver Media. Just a little single, single mode tuner. No dual tuners or anything like that. Uh, but it is uh, streaming the cable, as you can see, in high def. And not only does it play back the high def, just as smooth as can be like you were watching it without a home theater PC in place but it also does all the great features of a DVR you've got your time shifting for rewind and you've got fast forward you got pause as well as jump to live